Hi, this is Dr. Lanier. I, uh, I wanted to kind of throw this out there for you to know. A lot of times it's misinformation. Even though with kids we don't do a lot of extractions that lead to something called dry socket. But I was sitting next to a person at a restaurant the other day and I overheard this lady saying that she had to go back to the dentist because she had gotten air in the socket and had to go back to have them remove the air. That was really she was very confused because it's not the air that causes problem what happens is sometimes the blood clot is lost the major thing that causes the loss of the blood clot is smoking if there's smoking no i know this isn't normally for kids but if you're an adult you hear this please if you smoke don't smoke after an extraction because then the blood vessels constrict the nicotine causes the blood constriction of the blood vessels and now you lose the blood clot and you get dry socket and all of the nerve endings inside of the socket is are exposed and what you have to do when you go back either they put dry socket paste or they try to close it with a flap or you can dig in there and get the blood flowing again and try to get a blood clot but it's very imperative to have the blood clot so that you get healing across the top rather than having to do what is called second intention healing from the bottom whereas those nerve endings are exposed and it's a very very painful but it has nothing to do with air inside the socket even though there could be air and and water and oral fluids getting down in there on the nerve endings basically what we're trying to do is get a blood clot to form so that you get first intention healing across the top and it goes fast the other way the second intention is slow and painful so clarification on that dry socket thing thank you